rabbits are incredibly sensitive creatures that respond to oddities in their diet with not so great reactions. Our rabbits are herbivores and cucumbers are vegetables, so you may think that they can eat pickles, but is this true? Even though pickles are most certainly cucumbers in disguise, they aren't the best snacks for rabbits, and you should certainly avoid giving this item to your bunnies for a treat. We're going to explain why you shouldn't feed your rabbits pickles in general, and when they are toxic to our furry friends. Pickles are non-toxic to rabbits. We'll be clear, dill pickles are usually not toxic to rabbits. But salt is one of the biggest problems with pickles, and your rabbit really receives no nutritional reward from eating them. However, many pickles can have potentially toxic ingredients in the jar. If your rabbit nibbled on a small piece of pickle, it might not cause any detrimental effects, but a large amount is asking for trouble. Pickles can be toxic, depending on the ingredients. You might find all sorts of nifty pairings in fancy jars of pickles. Since rabbits can be so sensitive, it isn't a good idea to introduce anything to their diets that might upset them. Even though pickles are non-toxic, they contain a high amount of sodium, which could react poorly in your rabbit's system. Not all pickle brines contain garlic, but some of them do. It might be no surprise to you that garlic is toxic to rabbits. After all, it is similarly problematic to all sorts of animals, including dogs, cats, and horses. In rabbits, garlic causes immunosuppressive effects that can have serious implications. More about salt. Rabbits do not need additional salt outside of their diets of standard rabbit feed and Timothy hay. Wild rabbits get salt in nature from rock surfaces. While salt is essential for bodily functions of the nerves, muscles, and fluid, the amount needed is limited. According to the National Research Council, only 5% of a rabbit's everyday diet will consist of salts. Most of the time, Rabbits instinctively know when they've had enough salt and will stop consuming anything with high amounts of sodium. That is not the truth for every rabbit, however. So while most rabbits will know when to stop eating salty items, you must ration others. And we shouldn't wait to find out what your bunny will choose. Nourish your pet from the inside out with wild Alaskan salmon oil. Sourced from the wild, pristine waters of Alaska, our oil is packed with essential omega-3 fatty acids that promote a shiny coat, support joint health, and boost the immune system. Give your furry friend the gift of optimal health and vitality with wild Alaskan salmon oil. Go to bemixpets.com and get 22% off. What to do if your rabbit eats pickles? If your rabbit eats a pickle, it could cause some annoying symptoms for them, like an upset stomach. If the recipe contains garlic, it's best to get them to the vet right away for an evaluation. The sooner you get them in, the better. Your vet will run the necessary test to see if there is any issue. Since rabbits can be very sensitive, any significant body changes can cause severe effects. It's always best to be on the safe side. Can rabbits eat cucumbers? If you feed your dog any cucumber, ensure it's a fresh veggie, not cooked, seasoned, or canned. Since cucumbers offer little nutrients for your rabbit, they should only occasionally eat a few nibbles. Risk of overfeeding pickles to rabbits. While sodium is helpful in the regulation of pH and nutrient transport, too much of it is reported to reduce growth in rabbits. While it's hard to meet the criteria for this to actually be a problem, greater than 8 to 10 kg sodium chloride NaCl, Kg-1 diet, you have to remember that there are other sources of sodium that you might not be aware of in your rabbit's diet. Diarrhea is also possible, especially if a rabbit is overfed pickles when it's their first time eating them. Every time you're planning to feed a rabbit something new, you have to introduce it slowly over time to avoid triggering an imbalance in their gut flora and reduce the risk of developing diarrhea. A solid rabbit diet is important. Ultimately, your rabbit should have a combination of commercial rabbit food, timothy hay, and fresh fruits, vegetables, and grains. Control the number of pellets your rabbit has. They should have a limited amount every day based on their body weight. While pellets should be rationed, they should have a fresh, unlimited amount of grass hay to aid in smooth digestion. So, the best thing to do is steer completely clear of anything processed or altered in any way. In conclusion, rabbits should not be fed pickles as a regular part of their diet. Pickles are high in salt, vinegar, and other spices that can upset a rabbit's digestive system and cause health problems such as diarrhea, dehydration, and kidney damage. Additionally, rabbits have a delicate digestive system and require a diet that is high in fiber and low in sugar and salt. While a small piece of pickle as a treat once in a while is unlikely to cause harm, it is generally best to avoid feeding pickles to rabbits and stick to a diet of hay, fresh vegetables, and a small amount of pellets. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition.
Stay healthy and take care.